Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with another Brick in the Mall. And uh, we've played on a little bit since the end of the last episode, if you remember that. It seems like a week or so ago. It's a while. But I have been off doing other stuff. Sorry about that and, and not concentrating on the videos. <laughs> but um, bef before that, before I went away, I spent a little time in the game after the last episode, running it forward three, four, five days perhaps, and discovered making money is not easy. And the amount of money you can get per day is never that great, certainly not at this stage of the game. So I've kind of gone back and just rethought things a little bit um, over my sort of previous idea. Now I still plan on keeping these main stores, the sort of the main essentials store um, and the drug store and the liquor store and the coffee, the, the coffee shop, the, the cafe there. Um, in play as they are um, but I'm changing things up a little bit the seasonal store will still be seasonal that will change depending on what happens here what uh, the current events are and what comes up here uh, which is why I started just before uh, midnight so we could see this pop up uh, uh, clothes store or book store now I could turn this into a bookstore couldn't I which is interesting because in a few days time, uh, well two days time, we have got a major book release so that might come in handy. But anyway before we do that just a quick recap of some of the things I've done. Um, I noticed because of all the uh, running around uh, that my janitors do, particularly when I sort of strip a shop down and, and uh, reset it or reset the shelves like I'm doing in this shop, um, the janitors sort of get very, very busy having to hoik all these uh, rubbish bags uh, out of the garbage drop zone. Uh, so I've rearranged the shifts a little bit to help with that. Um, and I've also, because they can spend a lot of time uh, up here and then travelling all the way down here to clean the floors, I've opened up another uh, maintenance centre down here. And uh, I've made some cost-cutting exercises. I've tried to match the shops. Uh, if we just look at this one, for example, uh, the, the the pharmacy store, the drug store. Um, I've the hours are, are still quite long. Now they're going from nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. Um, but I've decided I don't need to keep quite so many people on the payroll as I have done. And those people that are here are now more closely aligned to the sort of expected demand. I think that the, the purple line here, the purple, why did I say purple? It's nothing like purple. This orange line here uh, is, uh, I think, the last sales, the previous day sales or whatever. Uh, and the, uh, if I change that, the cashiers. Uh, and the yellow line, yeah, I've actually got that one right first time. Well done. Um, it's the number of cashiers I've got on hand. Uh, hopefully, um, that matches. Um, those two uh, lines are kind of relevant to the same numbers. So uh, if I've got that number of staff, then I should be able to handle that number of sales. Um, yeah, because I'm thinking that um, the... the uh, I know I will keep it in pause mode just for a little bit longer. Um, that the, uh, the number of staff, uh, I think, is over the top. So I've readjusted the shifts. Um, to some extent and fired a couple of people. I've, I think I fired a builder as well because uh, we're not building that much at the moment because I don't have any money. But I do need builders kind of during the early part of the day, uh, certainly when I'm resetting this seasonal shop over here because um, they have to clean up any rats that turn up if the janitors are slow getting the bags out. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, we have got Valentine coming up, so we need um, candies and greeting cards. Now, I've set the seasonal store to have three shelves of greeting cards. That is candies. There's already a candies. Oh, it is that. Well done, that one there. And greeting cards in that store as well. Now, hopefully that will cater uh, for, uh, for all our customers. And what I'm here, I might as well actually change that into a bookstore. I think we've already got books in here so if we say assign uh, books uh, products where are books on here I do wish this was in a logical order uh, so we make all that books and that 
Is that it's, um, uh, it's only, the bookstore needs to be more than fifty percent books? That's that's annoying. I would have thought that all those shelves would be more than fifty percent, but apparently they're not. So that's video games. Oh, they're all video games there. So we'll put another two bookshelves in. Uh, books, books on shelves, shelves of books. Bookshelves are something quite different, I think. Um, yeah, sorry. Let, let's stop. Waff let's get it. So, so put you. I just need the one, don't I? Make you books, and we'll put um, comic books. I think I've got comic books uh, in uh, in here somewhere. Shelf. Comic books. I did. There it is. We'll put you on there. Okay. And you're now a bookstore. Excellent. Um, I think that means that I can now sell a broader range of uh, of that product. So all three tiers of that product now. Um, yes, that's tier three, uh, which I don't think you can sell if it's not uh, that kind that a, a specific shop for that type. Okay, I'll speed up a little bit more. Get these guys moving. Um, it, since you were last here, uh, I changed. I we finished the research on clothing um which was there so that gives me all sorts of stuff now to fill out but i'm going i i might need a new shop for that i might the seasonal shop might cover some of that but we shall see um and i was looking at adding in research on road networks to give me more if if nothing else it gives me one more member of staff on my um hiring list so rather than getting three applicants for a job uh, I'll know I should then get four um, but to be honest, I then thought well the more important thing is to make money and to do that you need things to sell so that's why I've gone tools though I have employed four researchers uh, yeah sorry four office workers which might be a bit over the top so we might cut those down um, oh, they're all quite cheap to be honest so we'll let we'll let them carry on um, oh, there's nobody working at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so the janitor, there's only one janitor, is getting rid of these bags slowly. So let's speed them up a bit more. Um, yeah, in, getting, in cutting costs, I removed the, the counter for the coffee shop and one of the dining tables, and I stripped the toilet area down as well. So I removed one bank of cubicles. Now they, they only cost a, a dollar a day, but every every penny matters, I think, at the end of the day. So let's see how we're doing. Is it Valentine's Day? It is Valentine's Day. We don't need to go that fast. We'll slow it down to that speed. The other issue I've got, and why I, I'm having trouble making money, I think, is the number of people visiting the shop has dropped dramatically. I'm going to assume that's because... I had that day or two of really bad um, queues. So I was getting a lot of dissatisfied, well, a relatively large number of dissatisfied customers. Uh, what's that squ the squalor there? 35%. Oh, there is all oh, this dirty marks on the floor there. That's, oh, good, my new maintenance chap is turned up. Oh, one thing I did notice actually. Uh, let me change this here. I spelt that incorrectly. And unfortunately, there is no cursor on this text box. So you have to go back, all the way back and tap it in again. Trivial, but that, that's that's my um, obs my obsessiveness about it. So, are people buying things? There they are. Yeah, my stock clerk. Um, I also cut down the stock clerk hours slightly. Because apart from this main store here, we don't seem to be running out of much at all anywhere. So that's not a big, big problem. Uh, yeah, my peak number of customers. I think it's going back up slowly, but very, very slowly. Uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, we're still losing money. But, uh, yeah, it's difficult to make out that. <laughs> Why do they put bright red? On, uh, on 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 numbers on, on screens like this because it's almost impossible to read 
uh, let alone in a YouTube video. Yeah, so my salaries is uh, a third. It looks like it's going to be a, a, a down. No, it's not going to be down a third, uh, but it's, it's going to be down on the uh, nearly five grand per day than it was before. So that will all help. How are we doing? Yeah. You're not so you don't see you see the real time stats up here. So sales, that's good. Actually, sales are quite good. Talking of sales, my objectives here. I've had this sell 50 types of prod, different types of products for some time now. I've been stuck on 49 for at least two or three days uh, in game time. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what that 50th, 50th product needs to be. Uh, we're a bit of a way off a daily, prop, daily profit of over five grand. Um, that's interesting. Uh, where's the thing? Uh, net profit. Oh, I did hit it once. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's going to take a while to get back up to those figures again. That what that must be Christmas or something. That was that was that was manic. Um, oh, Ten thousand total sales. That's gradually increasing, so we should actually hit that reasonably soon. That should only be a day or two away, I think. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Another two hours of sales to go, and we're in the green. That's splendid. Ah, oh, yeah, my salaries have gone up to four thousand three hundred, so we'll be a hundred or so, perhaps less than we were previously. I hope. I see very dirty marks there. Everything else is clean-ish. Where's the challenger gone? Where is, is he gone off for the day? Uh, possibly. What's his hours? Oh, he does leave at seven o'clock. Yes, so yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. Right, so that's the uh, end of the day. And oh, that's quite good. Yeah, oh, our, our gross profit is going up uh, by nearly 300. That's quite good. So our net profit should be okay. Yeah, I think that, that sh that's good. But again, we're only making sort of hundreds in profit a day. And we ne I really need to be making a lot more than that. Uh, so Valentine's Day will end soon. We'll get uh, once we cross midnight. We'll get the uh, the forecast of what people want, and we can then decide if we need how much we might need to change uh, the season store or anything else for that matter. Research is going well. Um, we average 22 man hours a day, and we're only f eight points away. 83% of that next level of research. And there we go. Okay, so profit yesterday. That was quite good. That's over 600. Seven, nearly $800. Excellent results. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, you can't see yesterday's, <laughs> you, can, you can't see the day before yesterday's um, uh, figures. Yeah, our salaries is only a few few dollars less, I think. Uh, of course, one thing that hurts is the fact that I took out those loans. That's that's nearly five hundred dollars of cost every day until I pay that back, and that's going to last for months, as you can see there. Um, yeah, and there's no way of repaying any of that. <laughs> so, uh, demand. I'm not really looking at this at the moment. Marketing. I don't have a marketing yet. Um, the stats. Are, um, what am I looking for? Daily customers. Okay, um, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so we're about 70 short of our peak, I think, that sort of thing. So we're going back up in the right direction. That, that's good. Um, what else can we look at here? Will be of any interest? All the salaries well, is going down <laughs> ever so slightly, as you can see there. Uh, any other figures? Uh, sales numbers? Uh, that's not bad. Yes, that, that's probably about seven hundred thereabouts. Over seven hundred a day. That's good. 
so uh, yeah, we're 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 moving in on that um, ten thousand total sales. That that's quality. Okay, so a news agent. Okay, fifty percent of press and print. Okay, so we can do that here, can't we? So we've got. Oh, they're all books, comic books, video games. Okay, we'll leave. Um, yeah, we'll leave all those books there, and we'll change this here. That's comic books. Let's change those two to uh, press and print, comic books, and that one to be comic books. And you will be uh, newspapers. You can be newspapers, and you can be. Oh, I get it. Press and print. You could be magazines. Okay, uh, that's probably not going to be enough. Still a media store. Books are fifty percent. So your comment. Okay, uh, let's. Actually, no. Let's. We could do if we make all so that's newspapers, newspapers, magazine. We'll make that one newspapers as well. And these three here can be magazines. Okay. Now you're a news agent. Excellent. Uh, again, quite what impact that has. It doesn't seem to draw in that many extra customers, to be honest. Um, but as long as the shop's profitable, actually looking at our last yesterday's profit, 36%, I'm okay with that. 68, that's good. The pharmacy, 44. The, uh, the, the, the numbers are going up. The graph is showing improvement, but minus 14, I'm not happy with that. The coffee shop, that is shocking. Should I abandon the coffee shop entirely? I am sorely tempted to do that. We'll give it another day, and uh, we'll see. Because the trouble, the trouble is, if I abandon it, I'm going to have to put in shelves and stuff, and that's just going to be extra cost. And and I'm trying to minimise expenditure at the moment. So, okay, uh, what else are we doing? Uh, that's it, our research is there. Right, what I'll do is we'll fast forward this bit and I'll see you back in the morning when business opens. Okay, so we're approaching seven o'clock in the morning and the staff are hurtling into work. The stock clerks in particular, turning up to make sure the shelves are all stocked. Most important, of course, in our seasonal store here. Um, but the essentials here, this one does tend to run out. It's, it's remarkably popular. I wonder what conclusions I can draw from that. <laughs> do, do you just need stores which sell a bit of everything? Um, that does seem to be what's going on here. That that's where the profit is. Perhaps that's the perhaps the problem in my thinking at the moment. My strategy is I just need a bigger, bigger stores which sell a variety of stuff rather than focusing on these word of mouth things or the uh, the events coming up. Okay so we finished the tool supply research. Um, I was looking at this when I selected tools I was looking at going for uh, plants and gardening because that gives you a nice selection of uh, extra products to sell, but they sit on tables rather than shelves. Um, <laughs> this is cost cutting thing. Um, I didn't want to spend the money on putting in extra tables to supply um, those particular products. Uh, run, I wanted something that sat on uh, an ordinary shelf, which I think tobacco does, jewellery does, 
Uh, do they sit on tables? Electronics. Let's just check that. Uh, we go here. Uh, table. Yeah, all the uh, the electronics. The, all the jewellery as well sits on a table. Uh, let's do the flowers and plants and stuff. Uh, yeah, the appliances sit on a on a pallet. Tobacco, e-cigarettes. Maybe it's time to look at the road network or buses. Would uh, allows bus construction of ah the construction of bus stops. I've already done that one, but I've not put uh, bus stops down because I think they are expensive. Cleaning technology that that might help logistics. I don't think we have an issue with uh, deliveries at the moment. Would um, where's clean? There's cleaning. Automatic floor scrubbers. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to select it anyway. There you are. <laughs> um, what was I looking at here? Oh, on the table, on the shelves. So ooh, some gardening tools. So tobacco. There's some electrical stuff which does sit on shelves, so we could do that. But I've made my choice now. So we're stuck at that. Oh, the bus stops. Yes, I was looking at uh, bills. Was that was under road. About a ten grand for a bus stop. I can't afford that. <laughs> That's why I've not put any down. Strange that. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? Okay, so there's no special event today. We just have the, the news agent demand going on here. So if we actually look at uh, demand for press and print, greeting cards, newspapers, comic books, that's all up. Uh, I don't have a comic book store. Not the demand is that great. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, that's yesterday's sales. I wasn't selling newspapers yesterday. So greeting cards are still popular. And I'm not selling them anymore. <laughs> Apart from that. Yeah, I've got three staff in here. I, I, that worries me slightly. But when you look at the graph for the staff. Uh, shift planning. You could, actually could cut that down. It goes up in the afternoon. Which is curious. Uh, if we get rid of the stock clerk from that list. So I'm not sure. You could. How could I do this? You can't. They can't have a person going, coming into work, and then coming back again. You'd only have their on shift for one contiguous period of time. So I'm not sure if we could do that. Could we? Would that work better? Um, I just stretch you out so you worked forever. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Actually, that looks a bit better. I think. Um, yeah, though. Actually, I think if we make you because you appear to be the less capable cashier, so we'll put you on there. Or do we want you there? That looks okay. Let's try that. Let's see how that goes. That is starting at nine, isn't it? Because that won't have help us today. That will start tomorrow, and I dare say by then the uh, demand pattern will have changed. And the number of customers. Yeah, we're still not. Still not back to the big levels that we had, but there are people, they are shopping, the tills are busy. Again, the coffee shop here is moderately busy. Uh, the, the stock clerk, that's true, isn't it? Um, you're the stock clerk for what? For the beans, yeah, the coffee shop. Um, you don't do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen you before just hanging around there. 
So, hmm. Curious. Okay, and we're still down in terms of profits, sales. It's looking okay. I think so far, coming up at four o'clock. Again, all that slamming of car doors, it does, um, <laughs> it's, it's quite, um, yeah, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure what the word is I'm looking for, but it uh, gets in your head. Yeah, people are buying stuff here. Ah, uh, you see, it's just tier one books, because it's not a bookshop anymore, it's a newspaper shop. They're all tier two. Interesting. I think if the. Mm, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll say nothing because I'm not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> nothing new there then. How are we doing, chaps? Okay, we're in profit by $150. Excellent. Right, so we're moving on. We're making money. And we should get that ten grand fairly soon. We should get that tomorrow, in fact. We're nine over nine thousand six hundred total sales. We need to reach just ten thousand. And the job is done. Okay, in the uh, last hour or so of business. Yeah. And uh, profit might be a little bit down on yesterday. But it's difficult to tell yet. We've got 15 minutes. It's not going to make it, is it? No. Profit is down slightly on yesterday. It's gone down from 7,100 to 6,000, nearly 900. So, uh, disappointing. But let's see how this turns out. Now, at least in in this uh, in this situation today, uh, the book sale is tomorrow. Um, so we've got lots of books here. We've got lots of shelves of books. So that should work for us. Uh, I don't think I need to turn it into a bookstore. Is there a, a bookstore kind of thing? That's media, isn't it? Yeah. Um, could I could reset? I could turn that back from a news agent into a bookshop for tomorrow. I might do that. But anyway, what we'll do here? I will stop the game. What are? No, no. Let's run on. Let's run on. Let's see what the final figure is. Right. And our profit was. 626. Not too bad. Not too bad. So that's okay. A little bit down, but there you are. And it's not. I don't want that. I wanted this one. Neither. Right. We're going to get the 10, 10 grand tomorrow by the look of it. That's excellent news. Uh, the book sale, or well, the major book release, is on today. So we've got that to look forward to. And word of mouth, a bookstore. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, that's what I will do. I will. That should fit in very nicely to uh, to the uh, to the special event as well. So let's turn that into bookstores. I will do that when off camera in a moment. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode. Um, I think I've got things back under control a little bit. Um, in terms of costs, uh, I, I can always adjust. Actually, while we're here, that lost money yesterday. Good grief. That was up a little bit. The pharmacy, 44, that's good. 30. Uh, there's obviously some rule to this game that I'm not properly understanding. But anyway, um, I'll go and think on that. <laughs> in the meantime, once again, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great if you just click the thumbs up, give us a like. It'd be very much appreciated. But even better, if you've got any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, recommendations, any clue as to how I can <laughs> make more money from my little shops here, it would be very much appreciated. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And, of course, 
If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so, and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here with another brick in the mall. I'll see you again soon, but until then, bye-bye for now. Thank you.